is Shruti Vasudev and I'm the project manager for the Pick and Place Drafts team. We are a multidisciplinary team of freshly graduated engineers and engineering student interns coming from different engineering backgrounds, working towards a common goal. This goal is to create an embedded system with some simple vision guidance to create a pick and place robot capable of playing a game of drafts. And we decided to use National Instruments' latest embedded controller, the MyRio, to achieve this. From the start of the project, we identified the three main challenges that we wanted to focus all our efforts on. These were the motion system, the vision system, and the artificial intelligence playing a game. Let us first look at the motion aspect of this project. The motion part of this project focuses on the use of a slightly modified Lynx Motion AL5D robotic arm, which is used during the game to move pieces around the board. The four degrees of freedom of this arm allow us to pick and place pieces anywhere on the board. This arm was originally designed to be controlled via serial using the basic software Lynx Term. As you can see, this gave only limited manual control of individual servos, as opposed to the programmatic multi-servo control we need for this project. We quickly moved up to deriving and implementing inverse kinematic equations, which allow us to define an X, Y, Z position for the end effector to move to. We then needed an efficient vision system in place to be able to recognize the user moves. For a robot to become a fully functional drafts player, capable of playing a game against the human opponent, it had to see the board and recognize its layout for every move. We've approached this with a high definition USB camera and machine vision algorithms. Settings such as exposure are automatically adjusted depending on the light in the room, and certain image processing techniques like threshold and particle analyses are applied to extract black and white pieces separately. It is then converted into the two-dimensional ray representation used throughout the rest of the project. The third challenge was to implement an artificial intelligence to process the moves of the game. Let us take a look at how we approach this. Given the time constraints, we were not looking forward to coding the artificial intelligence, so we turned to the Linux community for help. As the zinc chip in the MyRadio contains an ARM processor, we're able to integrate C code that had been written by other members of the community. We saved a lot of time using a pre-made drafts engine and calling this in LabVIEW as a library. Here you can see where we've used the function call node to communicate with the engine. It wasn't perfect to start with, but after a few tweaks to the community code, we are able to pass a board input and output to and from the engine. In order to have a complete system, we needed to bring these three elements together. This required a stable software architecture. Let's see how we implemented this. Using the MyRio program with LabVIEW as the centre point of our project meant that we could easily integrate the different parts of the system. We chose to use a standard software design pattern called the Cube Message Handler, which sends messages between separate parallel loops. This allowed us to easily combine the different modules as they were completed and straightforward to add in any new features. Here you can see the top level code running on the MyRio. The main loop here handles the flow of the game and when it needs to take a picture with the camera, perform a move with the arm or communicate with the AI, it simply sends a message to the relevant modules through something called a queue. This architecture made it straightforward for each team member to work on different parts of the project and then to integrate the whole system together. Now you've seen the code, let's see it in action. to find out more about the MyRio, the controller used in this project, then head over to our website. Also, if you are looking at doing your own project with the MyRio, we'd love to hear about it. And you could even enter into the student design competition, win prizes and gain recognition for your work. More information about this particular project 
can be found on the National Instruments webpage. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it.